Hey guys, Target here, and in this video we are going to continue the development of our high-tech district and we will be building the commercial downtown area. We start off by leveling out the terrain to the same level of the railroad that we have going on here and we do this to build our train station. The very first passenger train station of the city, I might add. Initially, I thought about uh, sinking only the area that would be containing the train station, but later on I decided that I would be uh, making the whole neighborhood sunken, and it would be delimited by the avenues and also the highways that we have going on here. Besides the train station, I also had one of those um, intercity bus terminals, which spawn buses that allow people to travel to and out of the city. So we're actually going to have two main ways of public transport that will be very effective in bringing out tourists to the city. I finish up all the connections that were left unfinished and then I extend the avenue right alongside the main railroad that will eventually go under a bridge and convert into a tunnel that will um, give access to the other side of the highway. I upgrade all of the roads, place out a small park, and then I start working on the pathway infrastructure of the entire region. This is going to be an extremely active area, with a lot of people going to and coming from the train station and also the bus terminal, so I want to make sure they have easy walkable access between all the main avenues and also all the main facilities. I finish up by adding some small parks to complement the area and then I start zoning all of our commercial buildings. A bit further up, I start building a customized layout for our expo center with very easy access to all of the highways. I want the layout to wrap around um, the river make it a bit natural looking, but I also want to keep the geometric shapes that I have been adding uh, in this layout, as well as the pathway structure that I've built on the residential area on the last episode. On the other side, I continue the layout using the same logic, but adapting a little bit to the terrain, and this is where I'll build a small office block. I pipe down the entire thing with water and then I simply resume the simulation and let the first commercial buildings develop. I finish up the pathway network with some obvious useful accesses that I've forgotten and then I upgrade all of the roads. Finally, I start decorating the entire area. I'm using the exact same logic that I've used on the residential part of uh, this district and I'm placing these small beaches between the local roads and also the pathways and I also make use of those big tall trees between the highways right next to the expo center. Then I simply wrap up the area by adding some natural vegetation with oaks and also some bushes. I will leave you to enjoy your weekly dosage of ASMR 3 planting and I'll meet you in a second for the live gameplay of this video. See you soon!
All right, guys, so I've just finished up um, decorating the entire commercial area and here's a couple of shots of the final result. Now, some things to point out. The avenue that um, provides access to the train station and connects directly to the avenue, it's getting quite a bit of traffic and that's because that usually happens when we have a lot of trains that just arrive at the station and we have a lot of people um, coming into the city. And these are all cars that want to get into the highway to go to other parts of the city. Usually this would be a red flag and I would try to fix this as soon as possible, but because I am not adding any more development in this uh, commercial area and I'm not putting any more stress into this avenue, this is not going to get any more worse than this, so I'm not really concerned about it. As for the train station itself, I've put this bypass train station that comes with uh, the most recent DLC. This is pretty cool because it has a dedicated bypass lane, so trains that do not intend on stopping at the station, such as um, cargo trains for example, can go right through the middle without being affected with the trains that are actually stopped on um, the platforms. In the layout right next to the Expo Center, where our offices were supposed to be, um, they still haven't developed and that's because we don't have any demand for industry at the moment, but that will change over the course of the next videos as I add more residential in this location. Also, as I've mentioned during the time-lapse, I have this avenue over here that converts into a tunnel, which will, in the future, connect to this part of um, the, uh, the island, or the continent, right next to the river, where I will develop the layout even further. But anyway, guys, there's quite a bit of things that I want to build here that I haven't done during the time-lapse. First and foremost, I want to draw a dedicated district to this location, so let's do that and I'm gonna name it the Prospect Downtown because this is the commercial downtown area of this entire region. Okay, now that we have drawn our district, it's now finally time to do something that many of you guys have been waiting for, which is adding the first public transit option of this entire series. And that's going to be buses. Yes, we already have a dedicated ferry line, but it's fairly limited and the city now needs um, new ways to travel from one place to the other. And we will also need public transit to help upgrade our buildings, because at the moment we don't have a lot of level 5 residential buildings. The first thing that I gotta do is place my bus depot and I gotta go for the biofuel bus depot because it's less polluting and I'm gonna place it um, on this service layout that we have built uh, some time ago. Okay, so now that the biofuel bus depot is set in place, we can start drawing our bus lines. And I think I'm gonna start with some regional bus lines that connect every single corner of the city to this biofuel bus depot on Prospect Downtown. So I'm gonna start and build my first line, let's see, uh, right about on this edge. And I can make it go to the city of Tadima. So let's see what a path will this actually take to get here. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see this on the video, but it's going through this entire region. That's okay. So let's make this stop right in front of the mall of moderation. I think this is going to be a nice place for it. So one stop over here. And now we can go directly back and complete the line. And perhaps we can even add a few stops along the way. So let's see, we have a final stop in the mall of moderation. Perhaps we can add another one right over here. So I am gonna place a stop right on this avenue and another one to pick up the passengers right about here in the middle of this other avenue. Okay. And I'm actually gonna color this line as give it a red tone just to distinguish it from the local lines. The local lines are going to be blue. 
So now let's make a second original line and this one will give access to the Cooper Farms. And this one can be colored in, I don't know, how about a dark shade of purple. Okay, let's see if we can add any more stops along the way. Perhaps we can add a stop at the forest crater. So let's make a stop right about here, right next to the uh, commercial zone. And perhaps we can even add another stop on the West Cooper residentials. Now let's make a third line. And this one will provide access to the Lushy Highlands. Not Highlands, Highlands. That's the correct pronunciation. And this one can be a shade of orange. And perhaps we can even adapt this orange line to provide access to uh, this um, oil industry. So let's actually drag it a little bit over here and make a stop right at the entrance or the main building of the oil industry. And of course, you cannot forget to add a fourth line that will connect directly to the residential district that we have made on the last episode. Okay, and this line can be... Um, how about a dark shade of green? Or a bright shade of green? Okay guys, so it seems we have a small problem. Unfortunately, I did not account for the amount of traffic that these buses would generate because I'm basically concentrating so many lines into one particular spot that is causing a lot of stress to this avenue that connects to the 6 lane. Even more stress than what we had before, just with the train station alone. So I have no choice, I will have to relocate this uh, intercity bus station elsewhere. So we actually have this highway entrance in this area right next to the expo center that is being way underused. Whatever I do, one thing's for sure, I gotta place this intercity bus station and make it so that it uses this connection instead of this one over here. So I can actually do this in two ways, I can either place the bus station um, here right next to the expo center or I can actually extend this little road all the way uh, here and uh, place the intercity bus station in this area. So I'm actually going to do this by trial and error. First and foremost let me place this station in this area and see how it looks and how effective uh, it becomes. If it doesn't look that well uh, right next to the expo center I will eventually relocate it but for the time being let's just see um, if it works. And I actually need to add a way for people to uh, walk from this area to this layout. So let's add a second uh, pathway here because people cannot walk on this highway roundabout. Okay, this should be enough. Let's uh, fast forward this entire thing and see if the buses adapt. I think I have to manually change the spots, so let's place one here, and perfect, it's already using this line, this one over here, and this one, and oh, actually, the red one as well. Oh, and they're all using this um, highway connection, which is perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. So let's see how well it adapts. Alright fellas, so much better, much better indeed. We now have our roads completely um, cleared with the buses and we have now found a way to force more traffic into this highway and thus distributing traffic a bit better between this avenue and also this one over here. 
We still have some buses clogging the entrance to the bus station, especially when there are a lot of buses coming in at the same time. But because these are access roads very far away from the densest part of the region, I'm quite okay with that. And also, we now have a lot of people using these pathways, uh, connecting directly to this layout, which is great to see, people using the pathways that I've built. I have rebuilt the pathway in this location, I've also planted uh, some trees, and I have filled this area with uh, commerce as well. We can even finish the whole thing by placing some trees. And you know what? I don't really think this looks bad at all. Uh, in the beginning, I didn't want to take the attention of the Expo Center as this layout is dedicated to it, but because this is such a short building or a low height building, the Intercity bus station, it doesn't really have a negative effect on the footprint. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video, I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon for the next one. Thank you for watching, take care and as always, have fun!